So I hope you have calculated the lift for all the remaining cases that I had mentioned in the problem. If not, pause the video, use the two examples that we have seen to uh, guide you in calculating the lift for the remaining cases. On the next slide, I show the answers. And these are the lift for the various cases that we saw. And of course, the best rule from among these happens to be the sixth rule that we have mentioned here, which is green implies red and white that has a lift of five. Okay, so now we want to talk about, we looked at three different criteria, support for an item set, confidence in a rule, and the lift ratio for a rule. Those are the three things we've looked at. And clearly, what we want to do is to take a rule in which we have a lot of confidence, but confidence alone doesn't help us because it is lift ratio that ultimately tells us about the quality of a rule. Okay, and of course, we there may be some rules which have a high lift, but are not very frequent. Okay, so we want a rule that is derived from an item set that has a lot of support and has high lift. Those are the two things that will help us determine what are the good rules. So to summarize, we first find item sets which have a threshold level of support. We use them to find rules in which we have sufficient confidence. And then we pick rules which have good lift ratios.